Welcome back. So I've received a few questions from my students. Uh, they're, they're asking if you're given the graph of a function, how do I evaluate this definite integral? Uh, remember, a definite integral is basically just uh, an integral expression of some function from one number to another number. And so I'm going to go over a specific example um, that we were given uh, the function. We're given the graph of a function g of x. Uh, it's right here, this blue line. It's some random uh, graph of a function. And we are asked to evaluate this definite integral. And what I mean by a definite integral is it's basically got this integration symbol, and then we've got these numbers that, that are called the limits of integration. If I had just the integral symbol and no numbers, that's called an indefinite integral, and that would be an, a slightly different kind of thing. So for now, what we're basically looking for is how do we find uh, some answer of this definite integral from 1 to 3? So the, the idea here is this can be represented by the area of a region, and this region goes from 1 up to 3, because we have from 1 to 3, and it's the area between the graph and the x-axis. So if we have a region above the x-axis, like A1, A1 is going to be positive, and if we've got something below we're going to get basically, we're going to interpret that as a negative because it's below the x-axis. So when we go into uh, doing some evaluation, it helps to break it up into different pieces that are above and below uh, the axis. So basically, this is a simple uh, formula for a triangle. The area of a triangle, A1, is equal to one-half base times height, and the base is equal to one, and the height here is also one. So we have one-half, one times one, which is simply one-half. That's the A1. A2, in this case, which is going to be negative, because it's below the x-axis, it's got the same base of 1 and the same height of 1. So it's going to be negative 1 half base times height, or negative 1 half 1 times 1, which is negative 1 half. And if we want to find the definite integral from 1 to 3, uh, we're basically going to add up this region and this region, so it's equal to A1 plus A2, which is 1 half plus negative 1 half, or 0. And this is sometimes referred to as the net area. And that's basically, you know, thinking about positive area, and I'm putting the positive area in quotes and negative quote-unquote area, uh, and if we add them up, we basically are combining the pluses and the minus values, uh, and in this case you have a, a, a zero net area. But that's our answer for the integral from 1 to 3 of g of x. The x is equal to zero. Hope this helps. If you've got any questions, feel free to post them underneath, and don't forget to like or subscribe if you'd like to receive new updates. Thank you.